Yes, you read the title correctly. This will be the final episode for the Music Bot series. In the series, we went over how to create a simple play command. We created pause, resume, um, disconnect, loop, cue, all of these volume now playing us. Uh, Spotify integration and even slash commands integration and we went over all of that in a pretty brief amount of time I mean you could binge watch the series easily in less than a day this series I get has amassed over 1,000 conjoined views so that's a huge number and in a couple months it's going to exponentially grow till upward numbers upwards of 30,000 so as a thank you stick around to the end of the video or you could just skip if you're going to be like that uh i will have a special gift for you guys for those of you who have stuck since episode one but that's not what we're going to be focusing on today's video we're going to be creating a panel command which will essentially allow you to control the bot using buttons it's really cool and yeah that's what we're going to be doing in today's video so without further ado hit the intro Okay, so here I am in my Visual Studio code. And what we're gonna do is first we're just gonna create a very simple command, right? So we can do above the play command here. And this can be at bot.command. And we can do async def panel, right? You can call this whatever you want, and then I'm gonna do ctx equals commands.context. Like so. And then what we can do is we can just copy and paste this. So if not panel, or yes, if not playing, like so. And then, now that we have that, we also want to check if it's playing something, right? So if not vc that is underscore playing. And so let's say it's not playing, then we want to do return send First, play some music. Right. Now that we have that, we can do is we can just set up a really quick embed right so this embed we can do next color dot embed and inside here we're going to do title equals and something like music panel and the description is also going to be really short right we can do i don't know control bot by clicking on the buttons and that's basically it now, what we can do is that's, we're gonna have to create a view, right? So this is gonna be our actual buttons. And this is gonna be just equal to control panel, and we're gonna pass in two variables, VC and CTX. You'll see why we need those two, because we're gonna actually need to control it somehow. And then lastly, we can do is await CTX.send, and embed equals EM, view equals view. Just like so. And then all the way up to top, I guess like it's just common practice when you're creating a class, it should be at the top. So I guess it's a bit more organized. But right here, right under a bot, I guess um, under a bot variable, we can do class control panel, and then that's going to be equal to next chord that UI dot view. Now, if you don't know how to use buttons in or don't know that much, I have covered this in one of my previous videos, so you could check that out. It should be over here somewhere. Uh, it's a decent video. I mean, it doesn't have that great editing, but I feel like it's viewable But here. And now what we can do is we can do init, and we're just going to initialize our value. So we're going to have self vc and ctx again and then this is going to be equal to something very simple so we're just going to do first super dot in it dot in it and then like that and then what we're going to do also is hold up. okay and then what we're going to do is self dot value equals value or actually this to none. We're actually not even gonna be using it, so I don't think we need them. And then it's just gonna be self.vc equals vc and self.ctx equals ctx. Like so. And then inside here we're gonna create four buttons, and these four buttons will be used to actually just control everything. So the four buttons we're gonna be making is play and pause, uh, the queue, skip, and then disconnect. 
those are the four main buttons that you're going to be using. Um, I don't if there was like a way to do a slider or something, I would have tried integrating volume, but I feel like adding a select to it would be way too much work, and I don't think any of you guys would even want that. It wouldn't be that utilized either. So what we can do here is we can first create the button itself. So we're going to use a decorator, which is going to be next chord.ui.button. And inside here, it's just going to be label. And this is what you can call it, right? So I'm just going to call it play slash or resume slash pause. And then next to it, you can put in the style that you wish, right? So if you want it red, if you want it gray, you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to do next chord dot button style dot blurb. And then that's basically it. We don't need anything else there. And then we can do async def, and this is just going to be called resume and pause. I'll add some underscores here, better for viewability. And this is just going to have a couple of parameters. So first is going to be self, and it's going to have button, which is going to be equal to next code that UI dot button. And then it's going to have interaction, which is going to be equal to next code. We did import interaction here, so you could automatically just pass that in here if you'd like. But if you haven't, which if you haven't done the slash commands, then you probably haven't. So I'm just going to do next code dot interaction. It does the same thing though. And then what we're going to do here is we're just going to check if whoever's clicking the button is the same person who actually ran the command, just so we don't have other people messing with other people's things. We can do if not interaction dot user. So and I'm just gonna scroll down so it's easier for you guys to see equals self.ctx.author. And so if they don't match up, then we can do something like return await oh interaction dot response dot send message. And that's how you actually send a message using interactions. And then we can do something like run the self to use. Like this, and then we can do, and uh, this is called Infurial. I think I'm saying that right, and that makes it so whoever I guess this is towards only they can see it. So uh, we want to set that to true, and then we can do for child and self dot children, and this would this will what this will do is every single I guess button that there is. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do child dot disabled equals false and the reason that we're doing this is because once you click on one of the buttons you shouldn't be able to click on it again right so we don't have another error and so what i'm doing is i'm setting it all to false and uh one i guess the one button that we're not going to be setting this for is the resume and pause because it has two functions and then what we can do here is this is the actual code and this will control everything so we can do if self.vc is paused uh then we can do something like <coughs> sorry about that oh wait self dot vc dot zoom and then we have a wait interaction dot message dot edit and we're gonna set the content to resumed and we're going to do view equals self. Now what we can do is we can just copy this and put it else. And then let's backspace a bit. And this is just going to be pause. And then here it's going to be pause. Very simple. And if you're just wondering, right, you want to make sure it matches up. So vc.pause here and then vc.resume right here. So then back we are here and this is essentially it for this command so that's it yeah now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this entire thing up until here and then we're going to paste it right about here and let's change up a couple of things so this one is going to be the q1 q command and once again we're not going to have to do much coding and over here we're just going to add one more thing which is um button dot disabled equals true we're just going to disable this so you can't click the q again 
because it's already showing up. So why would we need to click it again? And then what we can do is if actually we don't even need to do this because we can steal code that we have already written in the past. If you haven't written the Q code, check out my Q video. It's really simple. Or you can just copy the code off from here. And this just shows us our Q. We're just going to literally copy this, at least this part. We don't need the other part. So go back up here and we're just going to paste it. We're going to refactor this, of course. And I'm just going to fix up the indents real quick. And then add self before VC and self and self self dot ctx dot send. We're going to actually utilize interaction because this is much better for this and we can use inferior. Like so. And then here it's going to be self dot vc dot copy. And then lastly, right here, we can just literally just um, copy this because it's going to be the almost the same thing. So once we break out of that for loop right here, instead of having content equals resumed, we're going to do embed equals em like so. So this will just for loop through every single um, song in our queue and it will add it to an embed with a field with the number next to it. So one dot and dot dot dot. And then it will just spit that out to us. Very simple command. And if you thought that was simple, the next one's even simpler. What we're gonna do, once again, is just copy this, which is the main meat of our code. And then we're gonna change up a couple of things. So this is gonna be skip this time. And make sure that this also changed to queue the function names because we don't want an incident like that, like so. And then over here, inside of our skip, and I'm going to go a bit faster because this is getting a bit redundant. But all we're going to do is we're going to use try and we're going to do next underscore song equals self dot vc dot q dot get. And then we can do something like await. Um, we can actually just copy this. Actually, no, um, let's copy this, like so, and uh, we can do something like, let's upstream this now playing, and then put this in little brackets here, and do next song. And over here, we can just do await self dot vc dot play next underscore song. Now, the reason that we put this in a try statement is because what if the actual, I guess, queue is empty, right? So we can do accept exception. Then we could just send this. Instead of saying you can't run the command using these buttons or something, say, the queue is empty. And that's basically it. This is the skip. And if you thought that was easy, the next one is literally even easier. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this portion of it. And this is going to be called disconnect. And this one, I'm setting this to red instead of blurple. And Instead of for child and children disabled equals false, we're going to select true because after you run this command, you won't be able to use it anymore because the bot won't be in the voice channel anymore. And then literally all it is, is you take this, slap it in here, and instead of having now playing, you're just going to do disconnected. And then above that, await self.vc.disconnect and that's literally it. and yeah that is the entire thing All right i hope you enjoyed uh now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in a discord and we're gonna test it out and this is where i'm gonna be revealing the secret thing okay so here i am in my discord and uh just stick around after i demonstrate this i will be sharing the good news but essentially what we want to do here is we can do help and over here, you can see our panel command. So if I were to do 
play Rainy Lakes, you have to play a song in order for this to work. Uh, it will play, right? And you can see that it's playing right here. And you might be also be able to hear it in the fading background. But then what we can do is we can actually do panel and access the panel. So if I were to pause it, you'll see that you cannot hear anymore. If I resume it again, you could hear it again, right? Just like you should be able to. But let's say we want to look at the queue. Well, there's no queue. There's nothing in the queue. So let's add something, right? Let's play the same song again. I don't know. I really like this right now. Also because I may get copyright strict if I use anything else. But here, we added something to the queue. So now, if I do queue, you'll see that we have another song, right? And now we can't click on queue because, you know, we just can't. I can still pause, resume, I can do everything. But now let's skip it. Let's skip. And it started over again. All over again, right? Now if I look at the queue, there's nothing in the queue. Because now we're on the next song. And then lastly, if I were to disconnect it, well, you just saw the bot disappeared. And that's basically it. That's a panel command in Nextcord or Python. It works in anything as long as the button system is similar to Discord.py version 2, where Nextcord it is, and I think it is for PyCord as well and Disnake. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this entire series. And the actual, I guess, the thing is in the description, there is a GitHub link to the, the entire source code for this bot it's gonna be in a cogs version and it's gonna be in the regular version so you could check that out if you have any errors and yeah that's it till next time goes to go see ya